ChatGPT helps you do. So, I mean, you already know what Sales Cloud is. So I'm not, of course, going to cover all of the things that uh, people in sales do and how Salesforce can help you do all of those things. But I'll just like directly jump onto what Sales GPT can uh, act actually help you achieve. So now let's talk about uh, what comes under Sales GPT. Uh, like in this AI cloud in, with this Einstein GPT, uh, that is number one is sales assistant. The sales assistant helps you do the research on the account uh, and like it just helps you prepare for the meetings. Uh, it helps you dra like draft the contracts and also like update all of this information onto the CRM for your future references. What I mean by that, let me give you an example. Imagine you have a deal going on for batteries. You're, like you're working, you're working as a sales rep in a battery or battery company, which creates uh, those lithium-ion batteries for cameras. And you have a meeting with Canon, and uh, you, you you want to do research uh, for for Canon that what exactly is going on into that company and all of those things. But uh, it requires a lot of time and effort, and not and even if you do it, uh, not probably all of the sales reps in your organization might might do it or are interested in doing that. But with sales assistant that comes along with sales GPT, all what you need to do is you just need to search information onto Canon and all of the information or the news articles or the like uh, whatever that is available going to be available onto the web about Canon is going to be shown to you by the sales assistant. So the time for research automatically got reduced to almost zero. And whatever information that you seem uh, that seems relevant to you, you can use that in the conversation that you'll be having uh, with the I mean, I mean, with the with the contact of that uh, of the, uh, who's working in, in, into Canon, right? So that it helps you do all of those things. And you can store all of these information into your CRM as well. So and on just one click. So you do not have to just worry about all of those things, which is exactly what people struggle, right? Yeah. Uh, then comes Einstein Relationship Insights. What exactly is this, Vishay? So Einstein Relationship Insights is just a step forward in what you have told, just what you have just said. So basically what it does is it kind of identifies different, different relations between the organizations across the internet across the news and gives you more information about it so let's say you are like let, and take your example itself only let's say you we are working uh, like a particular person is working in an organization and he has a deal with canon and when he uses einstein relationship insights he gets to know like canon just made a partnership with let's say uh calzis calzis okay calzis itself only okay and you have calzis as a customer of your own so you can simply ask the individual whom you are working with already in Kalji's, which are satisfied with your services, and they can simply connect you with the right they individual. They can act, act as a reference for you. They can act as a reference for you. So this can uh, it can actually help you in that. Another example of is that is let's say the person who is kind of you know handling the sales for him or the person who would be taking the decision for us from Canon side. You identify the say Einstein relationship insights will helps us identify this particular person worked in an organization for which we had previously done some kind of work. So we can give them the reference in your previous organization. We were the ones who actually implemented this kind of service, who actually implemented this new capability. So that can give us the credibility that we are looking for. But if we don't have the Einstein relationship insights, we may not be able to ever get that because we will this not have so the right amazing. resources. This is so yeah. amazing. You can actually identify the relations. You can even identify the with whom you were working earlier is working into exactly. which company now. Exactly. All right. It can actually track all of that and give us that kind of information. So if you have thousands of sales executives, like in a big organizations, and you really cannot imagine how much time it would take to reference those links, but Einstein relationship insights can help us do that. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Uh, makes sense. Yeah. Tell me. Yeah. So I was picking up the next point. Yeah. Conversation <laughs> insights. So conversation insights. So this is again, uh, a new capability that Salesforce is providing in its sales cloud, with which what's happening is the call recordings that we have will be recorded and will be stored in Salesforce. Then they will be picked up by the GPT and it will actually transcribe, uh, it would create a transcript from them. It would create a summary for us. But not only that, it can actually identify the keywords that were there into the call. So we can identify. So let's say if Canon deal is happening and the same particular, uh, in that same particular call, the person the, uh, the to whom we are trying to sell is talking about some other battery company. We would get a notification itself only. Like a competitor was specified in the call. And if 
pricing is coming up multiple time we can see keyword pricing is coming up more and more now as compared to the previous years or previous months without even look, uh, like uh, getting into that call without into in, in, without even getting into that call we can do that so it can actually helps us identify how we are lacking where we are lacking how we can improve ourselves it can give you the insights on the conversations your exactly. sales reps are having with your customers i mean exactly. everybody is looking for that either they are selling your product or you're they're just trying to avoid as many customers as they would yeah and uh, they could to add on to more on to that this uh, the manager would be able to see for a call which went on for one uh, hour how much duration was the sales rep speaking how much duration was the customer speaking to identify whether sales rep was active or not mm -hmm. and if the particular manager wants to see like what was the reaction when this call was happening he can simply open that call and see when the customer was speaking he can simply click on that so it gives us a section like when the customer is speaking we can click on that and it will give us the complete transcript as well and we can see his expressions as well to understand whether he was actually interested in that or not so this is good this and is and, good. and you can you can uh, do it with uh, your zoom calls and everything yeah right? we can connect zoom call and google meets again forward looking statement i will not say that it's the those are the only two platforms but yeah definitely those two platforms can be linked directly makes sense predictive forecasting let's talk about so predictive forecasting so uh, with ai driven forecast it can predict like you know last month you had 64% uh, 64% more uh, opportunities pipeline as compared to this one so maybe you need to look into it and it can also help us identify new patterns which we might not be even thinking about which we might not even be looking for it can actually help us do that because again it is a generative ai it can act as a human being so if it is trained which salesforce which salesforce did it can actually help us identify those trends for us got it sales email so it will help you write down the sales emails uh, that you have to send uh, whether it is about introducing yourself your products or your services or about just like sending them a follow up it can just do that and we are probably going to show you a demo of that same today as well yeah we're going to yeah all right